everyone and welcome to my little painting session of this painting, this portrait painting entitled The Snail Kiss. I'm just getting ready here and having a little cake before I start painting so then I get to work and here is uh, my kind of second layer. Uh, the first layer hasn't actually completely dried and I'm painting a portrait. I don't know whether anyone will find this surprising. If you've been on my channel for a while, you will know that I am not really a portrait painter. Normally I paint uh, animals and particularly cats. Cats are kind of like my thing, you know, and anthropomorphic, so basically animals as people, and any kind of fairy tale type based art. So this is fairy tale based, but it is a face, <laughs> which I have done a few times on my channel, but it's not regular for me. I'm just taking a little break now and having some pasta because you've got to eat lunch even if you're working. And uh, the painting is really a kind of because on my Instagram, whenever I paint a portrait or upload a portrait rather, I get a lot more kind of appreciation for that. And I know you're not supposed to when you're an artist, you're not supposed to really change your art um, in, co in accordance to your audience. However, I do think that doing something different for me personally is great because it does help me focus on my portrait painting skills and it also makes me kind of push myself and get out of the comfort zone, you know, because I tend to then when I'm painting animals, it's so easy for me. Well, I, I take that back. It's not totally easy for me, but it's not a huge challenge. So it's so straightforward. I know exactly where to start. I know what to add. I know what shading to do. Whereas portraits are um, a little bit different to that. You've got to consider the aspect of the face. You've got to um, consider all these other factors. So I don't think that portrait painting is necessarily more difficult than painting like animals and stuff. There is an animal in this or rather a snail, <laughs> an insect. Um, but it's not um, so it's not sort of difficult as such, but it's just a new technique. So I do hope you like this painting. And the story behind it is a, a very from a fairy tale that I wrote about a, a, a maiden who is sort of living in the forest, and she one day passes this giant troll, and he's um, making this you know big stew. And he's cooking all these kind of weird things like snails and and actually this snail can talk so it has some human characteristics so uh, it's crying out you know please don't eat me and so the maiden feels like she should save the snail because it um, has a voice and so she feels for it so she rescues the snail and then they go and live in this beautiful garden forever and ever and so she sort of feels uh, happy rescuing this little snail and I, I find snails really kind of interesting I feel like I only ever see them when it rains and uh, they're so slow like I just sort of think if a, if a snail had to fight against any kind of attacker it wouldn't really have much of a defense apart from its shell of course which is I suppose its only defense really but even then I mean, it doesn't have any kind of escape uh, possibilities because it just is so so slow <laughs> like even if you gave it a head start mind you I have to say that uh, I quite often see snails when it's raining and you see them sort of moving slowly in a direction and then whenever I kind of look at it again look for the snail again they they have disappeared so they obviously have got some good hiding techniques I don't know but um, yeah and I hope you enjoyed this painting I've had to kind of uh, some art block and some difficulty coming up with art this week but I'm two paintings ahead so I've got two other portraits that I'm really looking forward to sharing with you guys so I'm kind of sticking to the portrait theme at the moment but it's not going to be exclusive like I will shift around and change my my painting process and I'll change my paintings as well and I do really want to do a full-on landscape because I feel like I do find landscape difficult but I feel like I probably, out of all the things that I can paint, landscape, I think I probably do the best. But I do think that it is a real effort for me, like to actually get a full, fully formed three dimensional landscape in the style that I like. So, yeah. Well, here is a little close up of the painting. Now, I did do another layer after this. Um, 
session after that last session and I do hope you like it I you sort of blending brushes and as you can, as I zoom out you can see the color of the skin better so I hope you like this painting and I'll see you next week take care, take care.